So, so basically, I, I feel that um, there's been a lot of um, recent uh, news about all kinds of um, humanoid robots. Um, there's um, uh, figure AI where they have gone all neural net and then served a cup of coffee. There's um, three Stanford uh, PhDs who over the course of a year using off the shelf hardware um, have made um, a three course uh, meal, uh, a Chinese meal as well as done many other tasks. Um, and that was with, you know, again, off the shelf part, not human and bot, but it's, they gave uh, good information which um, I think can be used to um, extrapolate the difficulty and answer certain questions that people are making assumptions though. So I want to use some data that, that we have from these various announcements uh, to uh, more accurately predict what can happen this year, what will happen next year, um, how much effort, how many Tesla bots we made. So I want to like hone in on that based on the um, information that we have to kind of tri triangulate on the truth of what's going to happen. So the, the main principle that I have here, there is a human and bot race that Tesla is, is one of the leaders in there. An example was for self-driving cars, over $100 billion was spent on self-driving cars. You know, like $2 billion, $3 billion a year for Waymo, Cruise, Argo, um, Chinese companies, um, Apollo, all that kind of stuff. So a lot, a lot of money over many, many years went to that. And most of the players, you know, Cruise, Waymo, Apollo, a few million dollars a year on rides. Right. right. So... Right. I'm losing billions of dollars. I'm making a million dollars a year on rides. So the actual, how much I'm getting back is irrelevant to the fact that I see a big prize, RoboTaxi at the end of the line. And I believe in it so much that I'm, you know, spending this hundreds of billions of dollars on that. And I think the prize for human robot, replacing all labor, uh, having all this automation is so huge that the, the, the bets will increase. This goes to the minimum poker ante and bets related to this business. So for self-driving cars, the minimum ante is about $2 million a year. If you're not spending $2 million a year on this thing, you're not in the game. Right. And then the bets increase from there, right? So it goes to you know, $5 billion, $10 billion a year, which is what, what uh, Waymo was spending, sorry, uh, Uber was spending on their ride share system. Right. They got to $10 billion a year and now they're profitable and they got the other side making... $30 billion a year in revenue. So the high stakes involved in this thing um, forces um, certain actions. And so, we heard, and we heard uh, just a few months ago that China said they intend to be number one in the humanoid robots uh, space. Right. Uh, so this would be more evidence of what you're saying being true. They have early on kind of like... Uh, Open AI believing the the uh, the science paper, the Chinese apparently believe Elon in terms of what this is going to do. <laughs> so so it basically goes to you had nuclear weapons being the weapon for the military, right? Yeah. The game changer. If you don't have nuclear weapons, then you're second, third rate. Right. Right. Pakistan said, you know, back you know twenty thirty or whatever, a decade before they got the nuclear their nuclear bomb, they said. We will eat dirt until we get a nuclear bot. <laughs> right? So humanoid bot is the commercial equivalent. It also will be military too, but a commercial equivalent of a nuclear bomb. That basically, if you don't have it, then you are not future industrialized. Right. Right. You, the industrialized countries, non-industrialized countries, if I didn't get the steam engine, the train, the blah, 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 right. I was you know, riding around on, on horses or whatever, and I'm garbage, right? right? Right. Same thing here. If I don't go to humanoid bot, if I don't make the transition as a country, right, then I rapidly become meaningless. Or as a specific, or as a specific business. If... Or as, as a specific business too, right. If, if I'm still making a horse and buggy 
I'm irrelevant in the in the world of cars and planes and everything else. So you have to use these humanoid bots, make them useful, make them profitable. So this will I'll be discussing that relative to the Tesla strategy and business model around FSD and stuff is is a critical aspect of that. The the thinking around FSD is the approach that's going to happen here as well. And then it's going to be related to compute, data, energy, supply chain, and profit. So there's there's certain things that are feeding in that means in order for me to win or be meaningful, yeah. you have to do this stuff. Okay. If you happen to be a big fan of the Cybertruck, you might also be interested in this super fun Cybertruck refrigerator magnet and bottle opener. It is made out of super thick stainless steel, just like the Cybertruck. And it has this giant magnet on the back, so it's gonna hold a lot of stuff on your refrigerator. It's an amazing gift, and it comes in that great gift box that you saw before uh, that uses a magnet opener, just almost like an Apple box, you know, like when you get Apple products. You can buy it on Amazon for $29.95, or you can buy it direct from me by sending $25 to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kirk, all in lowercase letters. Please indicate whether you want the stainless steel look or maybe you'd like to have this very clever camo version. And then if you're not in the US, please add $20 for freight. If you'd like more than one, please check the information below to get pricing as well as all that information I just told you will be repeated in the information below. So once again, think about joining the channel getting the up-to-date Tesla news every single day, I think you'll be glad you did.